Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make this delicious coconut shrimp. The first thing I want to show you is how I devein the shrimp. And this is the easiest way I know how to do it. So I like to use a toothpick to do this and I just like to hold the shrimp like this and it will naturally separate the shell from the meat itself and just go a little bit in the meat not too far deep down but just under the vein and then you just pull it up and the vein will pop right out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be glad to have you subscribe and be sure to click the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Oh, this is a good one because the vein is so dark you can really see it. So you just have to pull the vein out and you're good to go. But if you happen to break it, no big deal. Don't worry about that. You can just peel off the shell and get to it. It's just easy if you have a paper towel to just wipe it off as you go. Okay, so for this recipe, I'm using one pound of shrimp. To that, I'm adding half a teaspoon of seasoned salt. And that's the one I like to use. I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of this Sazon Tropical. I love this seasoning. I'm going to leave it linked below to my Amazon store if you want to check that out. Next, I'm adding 1 teaspoon of black pepper and 2 teaspoons of soy sauce. Just give that a mix to coat the shrimp with the seasoning. And as always, I'm going to have the exact measurements listed in the description box below for you. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you can do so at Cooking with Shirani. I'm always sharing stuff in my stories over there, so follow me if you don't want to miss it. Okay, let's get cooking. So with my pan set over medium heat, I'm adding 2 tablespoons of olive oil to that. I'm adding half a cup of sliced onion. Half a cup of sliced green bell pepper. 2 cloves of garlic finely chopped. And 1 large tomato chopped. Give this a stir and cover it and let this cook for about 5 minutes or so, but be sure to go in there and stir it in between. Okay, so this is what it looks like after the 5 minutes is up. And now I'm going to add my shrimp to that and make sure you get every last bit of seasoning out of your dish because you need it. And then I'm just going to give that a stir and make sure everything is well coated with the seasoning. Now I'm going to add 1 cup of coconut milk and I'm using the one from the can. I wish I could get fresh coconut milk like back home in Belize but I can't so I'm just using the one from the can. And the last thing I'm adding is a quarter cup of cilantro. Stir that really well then cover it and let that cook for 3 minutes. 
and you don't have to cook this long as you know if you overcook shrimp it's going to get rubbery if you've been following me for a while you've seen this tip already but for those of you who haven't seen it here we go so when you bring your cilantro home from the store don't wash it don't do anything to it just wrap it up in some paper towel and put it in a zipper bag and put it in the fridge and it will last you a long long time it lasts for weeks in the fridge and i do this with my cilantro or any herbs that i buy so that's it you guys this is so easy to make and you're going to love it Oh, and by the way, after it finished cook, I like to just cover it and set it aside for at least 15 to 20 minutes so all the flavors could marry together. And the longer it sits, the better it is. So, yeah, you have to try it. I don't know about you, but I love seafood. Oh my goodness, especially shrimp. Ever since I was a little girl and we would go out to the restaurants or anywhere to eat, I want shrimp. You better know that I'm ordering shrimp. <laughs> I don't know, I just always love it. That's my favorite thing. If I could eat that for the rest of my life, I'm good. Like, I don't need to eat anything else. So, if you're a shrimp lover like me, give this video a thumbs up so I know. And if you're not a shrimp lover, please don't thumbs it down because every thumbs up helps my channel. But just leave me a comment and let me know what's your favorite thing to eat. As always, thank you so so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all your pictures of all the foods you create. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I get the nicest comments and the sweetest message from you all. So thank you very much. I appreciate them. And as always, I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.